What if I tell you that just one hour from Melbourne you can find one of the most beautiful forests in Australia? Yes, this is Dandenong Ranges and uh, today I'm gonna do one of the most spectacular walks which is the Sheerbrook walk along the creek up to the waterfall as you can see here on my back probably the sign. It's about two kilometers, I expect 40 minutes to one hour based on uh, you know how many stops you do and it's a beautiful forest that you will see from this video but let's walk on I'm walking down the creek I'm following the creek up to the waterfall of uh, Sherbrooke waterfalls and I wanted to give you a little bit more of information on actually how to come here. Uh, the easiest way is to drive. You get the M1 which is uh, one of the main uh, highway leaving uh, Melbourne and uh, finally you almost get to the Dandenong Ranges. There are a few tracks you can follow uh, but one of the Sherbrooke is one of my favorite. Uh, I'm going to put a map in the background so you can see a little bit more on the way to come here. You can take also the train but it's going to be more difficult because then from the end station you will need to walk a little bit more. It takes more but you know it's well worth the trip. But let's move on. From my last walk here, you can see here on the back, big tree crashed down on the footpath and uh, obviously the national park is well looked after and you can see the small piece cut off so you can still walk through and uh, go to the waterfalls. The track is very well signed so it's almost impossible really to get lost. If you have to make a choice in a couple of points, stay on the right and just follow the creek. Um, it's an easy walk, it's almost flat, there are a couple of really small hills. So really have the kid if you are uh, walking with a family can do it. I am uh, today walking with my six years old kid and it's not what it's at all. It's a bit muddy because uh, we had a couple of days with rain but nothing major really. It should stop here. If you're driving your car here, you have a couple of possibilities. I'm gonna show you in the map, in uh, the background. And the first possibility is to park uh, at a, a taverna, a restaurant. And that's okay if you think about stopping there for the drink after the walk. Or you can, walk, or you can park along a street and then join the path down uh, to the Sheerbrook Creek. Two possibilities, easy to find parking. If you're looking for maps, I'll give you a couple of suggestions here. The first one is to download them from the Park Victoria website. I'm gonna put a link into the description. And the second possibility is to download the app which is called Maps Me. This is one of my favorite apps for tracking. It has a massive amount of information and details into the maps, so much better than Google Maps. You may already know that Melbourne is famous because of its weather. Four seasons in a day. In fact, when I started this walk, it was cold and rainy. But look at now. Sunny, blue sky, 
warmer, much warmer, at least four or five degrees warmer in a matter of minutes. So this is just to say that you shouldn't stop yourself experiencing Melbourne just because the weather is not the best. It can change anyway in five minutes. Here I am at the falls, which are down there. So, to be honest with you, the falls are not the reason actually to uh, walk here in the Dandenong Park. It's more about the walk, the track that you go through, the beautiful forest. That's the reason to visit the Dandenongs. Now I keep going on the loop. It's a little loop. Uh, it takes about four kilometers, which is you know, depends on the speed, depends how many times you stop. But I would say budget in at least two hours if you want to have a, a nice relaxing walk. There are two ways to come down to the Sherbrooke waterfalls. And the first one is to follow the Sherbrooke uh, Creek, which is the one I've just done. Uh, you have seen it, it's very wild, very nice, beautiful. Uh, the only thing is that if you have a little bit of rain, it gets muddy. The second way is uh, the direct way to Belgrave. It's uh, much easier, uh, much wider as well. It's perfect, for example, if you don't want to have a, a challenging path like the one along the creek. And it's also better, I think, if uh, there is a little bit of a rain because it's not that muddy. On the contrary, the one of the creek, I must say, is beautiful because it's so wild into the nature. So my suggestion here is to do the full loop, go through one way, come back through the other, and uh, you will have a fantastic experience. How popular is the Sherbrooke waterfall? Well, it's not as popular as other destinations on the Dandenong Ranges. In saying that, you know, if you go on Saturday or on Sunday, definitely you will have some people around, but it's an easy walk, you know, there is no crowd or anything like that. If you come here, vice versa, during the week, probably you will have it just by yourself. Really rarely you're gonna meet anyone. So it's a great destination, again, just one hour from uh, Melbourne City. Fantastic walk, definitely suggested in the things to do around Melbourne. Here I am back to the car park. Uh, it was a beautiful walk, it took about uh, four hours for me, but I like to stop and check around, uh, see the plants, the trees, so you can easily do it in three hours, honestly. It's not that demanding. If you do all of the loop, it's about 4K. And one part of the loop along the creek is a little bit more challenging. It takes a little bit longer just because it can be a little bit muddy, but it's also more beautiful. The other uh, side, it's uh, more straightforward, wider and much quicker. I'm gonna go to the taverna in the back here for a couple of drinks. I really need it after this. And uh, I'd like to remember you also to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos for things to do around Melbourne and why not also clicking on that little bell that will notify you every time I post a video. Okay, see you soon around.